Hi everybody, my name is Robert Linkle and this is the Career Development Corner with Elite Sports University. Uh, today we're going to talk about earning a secondary certification and hopefully that will lead to more income for you or as the data shows it will. So let's jump into that a little bit. The first thing we want to cover here is the comparison of, or not a comparison, but the review of the data showing that what the average strength and conditioning coach and the average personal trainer makes in the United States today, and this is as of January 2016, uh, as it shows on salary.com. There was some conflicting information on here. Um, IRS webpage and a couple others showed some of these averages to be quite a bit higher. Personal trainer up around 55,000 and the strength coach up around 45,000. So uh, I wanted to find two that were consistent and these two uh, definitely show consistency from the same website. So I wanted to kind of dive into this a little bit and kind of show you uh, what the average salaries are we're looking at, but also to show you the bottom end and the top end and the potential of where you could go. Uh, being a personal trainer myself, I have a little bit more experience on that side and seeing there are a lot of personal trainers out there making this much, 35000 a year, and I would not say that it's a uh, comfortable living experience for them where they, they feel like they can kind of shut it down and cruise and that they're happy. There is a level in this profession where you want to be able to continue to invest in yourself, to buy new equipment, to you know um, invest money for marketing and such, to build your clientele, to build your business. You need to have more income uh, coming in just to invest in your business, let alone to take care of yourself. So. $35,000 a year, in my opinion, is, is not going to help uh, you progress as a professional or keep you in a healthy living standard. So our goal is to get you up, if you look down down towards the bottom there, towards that $85,000, now we're talking, okay, or more, get you up over $100,000 a year. Uh, that would be the ultimate goal for personal trainers, and I know many trainers that are doing that, you know, seventy five dollars to $85,000 a year. It does take them four or five plus years to get to that point. Uh, we all had to work at that point where we were taking clients wherever we could, any time of the day, and piecing together a schedule. Uh, but my, my advice is just stick with that, keep going, and eventually you'll be able to fill uh, in the whole, your whole schedule to where you're kind of making a career out of this and it's not so much a job. On the strength coach side of things, again, this can range pretty big from 25000 up to 60000 or if you're one, with one of these you know, uh, elite level universities, your USC's, you know, Miami's and Florida's and some of the bigger schools, you might work up towards 80 or maybe $100,000, uh, depending on the years that you're there and such. So I wanted to just be able to show and kind of broadcast across to you here this large, vast amount of income that we have in here. And one of the goals that we're seeing or one of the, um, one of the consistencies we're seeing is that by having a secondary certification, especially on the personal trainer side or as the strength coach side that's an independent uh, doing their own performance center, Having that secondary certification brings a next level of validity or a next level of confidence by the consumer in you, in your product. And so the best example I can give you is the trainer, uh, a client comes into the gym and they start looking at all the trainer's names that are on the wall. And they see, you know, trainer A, uh, strength and conditioning coach, trainer B, strength and conditioning coach, corrective exercise specialist. And then trainer C, you know, certified personal trainer, corrective exercise, Olympic lifting coach. Well, depending on which one I'm there for, if it's corrective exercise or if it's Olympic lifting, uh, they might choose that person just based off of that certification. But not a lot of times they look at it and just see the CPT or the CSCS and say that's enough. So it, by having a specialty or having a secondary certification, we are now broadcasting on our show, showcasing, here is the one thing that I am extra good at, that the majority of my clientele come to me for. And, and some of the statistics back us up on this. So in 2012, ACSM had a report on there that looked at that we didn't have one for strength coaches, so all we had one was for uh, the personal trainer. Your, your certified personal trainer that was working part-time, they listed us 20 hours a week, uh, was making about $18,000. The full-time trainer was making about 53000 So you see that other number, the other level that we talked about. When they had some kind of secondary certification, they were TSAC, they had a functional movement screen, USAW, you see the numbers jumped up there quite a bit. The part-time trainer made on average almost $2,000 more and the full-time personal trainer almost $2,500 more. And that was the most common given reason was that they looked like they had the next level education that fit what I needed. And so when we look at this as a consumer, the consumer comes to us, the professional, and says, I have this problem. How do I fix it? Well, not only am I the answer to that, but I have the right tool to help you fix that. I have one more thing that's going to make me the better candidate, so to speak. So um, any kind of specialist certification, you see where they have the word specialist after that. And in most cases in our industry, that means you have a, uh, a bachelor's degree or master's degree, some kind of uh, further education from the college or university or such to be able to sit for that exam before you even take it. So the corrective exercise specialist uh, does not require a kinase degree. 
um, from NASM, that's uh, one of their terminologies, but with ACE or, uh, or excuse me, ACSM or the NSCA, anything that has specialist after it, you have to have a, a kinesiology degree or some kind of bachelor's degree background to be able to sit for those. So it brings this next level of education that kind of comes into the profession with it. You see the numbers there for the part-time trainer jumped up almost five grand, but as for the full-time trainer, there was almost a $9,000 loss. And the most common answer was by the time they built their profession or their, their, uh, uh, demogra- their, their groups that they were working with, their business up to a point that they were so successful, they were then transferred over salary or asked to take over to the department or they became the fitness director or the general manager or some kind of shift where they earned health benefits and such. So the, their commission rates dropped, but their salary benefits and, and such were able to jump up. So they were making that next step in the profession. Elite certified personal trainers is just a stat we throw up on here and you see some of the average incomes we talked about. There are part-time trainers making $60,000 a year or more, and then your full-time trainers making over $100,000 a year or more. But that secondary certification has helped them a ton plus an addition of eight years in there. So you see where the numbers add up and they assist in, in helping us with this, uh, but there's quite a big investment in time and education you're gonna need to put in. In my opinion, it's well, well worth it. From the consumer standpoint, from the professional standpoint, either way, we're looking at a, a greater income, hopefully a better way of life for you, but a much better product that you're producing to your clientele and that next level education you're able to produce for them. My name is Robert Lankel with Elite Sports University. Thank you very much for listening. All my con- contact information is down below. Feel free to send me any questions you have or to follow me on social media. I appreciate you watching today. Have a great day.